Welcome back aliens, my name is Avind Reddy and let's continue with the series on NoSQL. Now till this point we were able to fetch our data, so of course we have our data on Datastacks Astra and this is a Cassandra database where we are trying to save our data, right? And basically we were using different key spaces where we have our data, right? Now I want to explore that data from an IDE. I mean, why I'm doing that? I mean, think about this. You store data so that you can fetch it, right? So basically, to work with data, you need a front end or you need an application to work with. So you don't exactly go to the server and fire the SQL query or SQL query to fetch data, right? As a user, you click on a button, something is happening on the server, and you get your data. This is what we want. We want a front end where we can, as a developer, we can see our data in an IDE so that we can build an application. It is easier to access, that's it. And to access the data in the IDE, we have to use a plugin. Now, first of all, which IDE I'm talking about and what type of data I want to fetch. So let's try to fetch data from here itself. So I will just use, I will say, what my database name, uh, the key space is Telesco key, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And this is where we have some tables, right? So I will say describe tables. And yes, so I have one table here, which is my gadgets. And I want to fetch this data in an IDE. Okay, uh, so first of all, I want an ID here and uh, luckily I have something in my machine so we don't have to waste time. So you have to get any ID which you prefer, but IntelliJ IDEA is very famous and the plugin is available for this. I'm not sure if the plugin is available for other IDs, but then one of the most famous IDE for Java, which is IntelliJ IDEA and we have a plugin. And you can just have to click on the plugins here and what plugin we are searching for. So we are searching for Datastax Astra. So we don't have this plugin installed, click on install here, except it might take some time to get downloaded and okay, so it says restart the IDE, please do that, yes. And boom, so we got our IDE restarted. How do I verify? So I will click on new project, I'm just creating a dummy Java project. I don't want it additional library, click on next, finish. I mean, this is the untitled project, so we just want to check if my data is coming there. Okay, now where do we see the option? First of all, let me just close all this extra window here. Now if you can see on the left hand side, so left bottom, you will find a Astra Explorer. That's our plugin which we have installed. And as of now, it says it's failed to load the data strikes Astra profile. You know why? It's because there's no connection between this IDE and my account, right? Now to do that, we need to first get the token. So when you click on get token, it will ask you for the login. Of course, you have a choice. You can log in from here or if you're already logged in, you can access that as well. But since we are going step by step, let me do it from here. So I will click on sign in with Google. Okay, now once you're logged in, it will take some time and you, you can see it's, it gives an option of agree and generate token. Let's do that. It will generate a token for you using which you will get your things here. Okay, it says there's some error occurred. I'm not sure what went wrong, but let's see. So you can see this is my token here. Okay, it was able to fetch a token and now it is also fetching the data. It's so simple, right? So now once you have this data with you on this side, it is easier to check. When you are building an application, you can see in real time if the data is getting stored or not. You just have, you don't have to go to the website and explore everything from there. Uh, so if you can see, this is the key space we were using. This is a table I was using, which is my gadgets. And that's my data, right? So basically when you build an application using Java specifically, the ID which we are using is IntelliJ IDR. If you want to fetch data, it's so easy, right? We can use a plugin. But then what else we can do? Now since we got our data in this IntelliJ IDR, it's time to actually build an application, or maybe simple a demo code just to fetch the data. Maybe I want to write a Spring application or maybe a, a service, a web service where I can say, specify what key I want, I'm trying to fetch. Maybe I want to fetch a camera and it should return me the value, which is Canon. If I say, hey, I want a phone, it should return a OnePlus. That's what we want, right? So this is the real-time data, okay? So whatever you change on the website, it is it will be uh, reflected here itself, right? So if you can explore more, we have a lot of different key spaces. We already worked with the Telesco doc as well. And in this, we created a collection, not table. So if I click on collection, and you can see we got data as well. So it doesn't matter what type of data you have. Is it a collection? Is it a table? Uh, you can explore everything in this. Let me also try for the one more table which we created earlier at the start of the series. And yeah, so everything is there. You can fetch all this data. I'm not sure if, if we have a place where we can actually fire the query. That will be even awesome. Maybe I'll try to get that in the upcoming video if, if I can find that. If you find it, please let me in the comment section so that it will be helpful for everyone. So yeah, that's your 
Astra Explorer using which you can see the data. Now in the next video, we'll write a simple application where we can see, uh, where we can write an application. If you want a particular value, you can specify the key and it will give the value. So yeah, that's it from this video where we have explored the data stacks Astra plugin for IntelliJ IDEA and it works, right? So thank you so much everyone.